What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some of the things that I want to see added into ESO in the future. I know a lot of this stuff has been talked about in the community. Uh, a lot of this stuff has even been talked about uh, by you guys down in the comment section. If there's something that I don't go over in this video that you would like to see added into the Elder Scrolls Online in the future, definitely leave me a comment. I would love to hear your ideas, talk about these things with you guys in the comment section below. One thing that has been talked about for as long as I can remember is spell crafting. Now, I'm not sure if Zoss has ever completely shut this idea down. I just know whenever it is mentioned and has been mentioned a lot in the community, uh, in forums and whatnot, uh, Zoss really never entertains the idea of it or never really discusses it that much. I'm not sure if they're just not wanting to do it or if it's something that they think is a, you know, not a good fit for ESO. But I did want to mention spellcrafting because I know a lot of people out there want it. And I'm just not sure if we're ever going to get it, unfortunately. One thing I think we will see in the future is going to be either new combat or weapon skill lines. And if Zoss is not going to add in new classes every couple of years like they did in the past with the Warden and the Necro, I think a good way to freshen a lot of the stuff up we have in game to make a, a an old class feel new again would be adding in new weapon or combat skill lines. I think that would be a great idea. I think it's probably something Zoss has definitely thought about or even considered adding in maybe multiple times or considered added in adding it in in the future maybe maybe they've already considered like i said adding it in, in the past and it just didn't fit with what they're wanting to do for that particular dlc but i have a good feeling that weapon skill lines or combat skill lines are probably being thought about and talked about a lot uh, over at zasa studio another thing that i think well a lot of people would like to see that i don't know if it would ever work because i think it's going to be too overpowered but i have seen people mention this and that is adding skill lines to the different pets that are available in game so if you're a sork or maybe a future class that has pets available to use as abilities people are wanting the pets to have their own skill lines the reason i think it would be a bit too overpowered is if you look at the sort now the two pets for the sort do a lot of damage i'm not sure how they would add a skill line to those pets that would not make them so overpowered as crazy you know if you add more abilities to these pets where they have their own kind of subcategory when it comes to abilities i think they would be way too strong unless they can somehow kind of combine what damage they do now with the new abilities they're going to add into the game that way you wouldn't have something that is just way too powerful in my opinion but i do think adding in pet skills would be something that is kind of unique one thing that i think a lot of people would like if you are in a guild and i know this is not going to be for everyone because uh some people like to play solo some people may not be involved in the guild but things like uh guild content or guild achievements uh, i know a lot of people have discussed those things over the years but the one thing I think I would like to see when it comes to guilds, and I did make a video about this several, several months ago, that is guild halls or guild homes. Make it separate from your personal house and make a section where you can just purchase a house as a guild. The whole guild owns it. It's not owned by one individual. Uh, I know a lot of you out there may be in guilds. A certain individual has all the crafting tables, Munda stone, stuff like that. So when you want to go out and craft or go out and get a Munda stone, you can just go to the guild member's house if that member leaves, of course, all that stuff's going with them. So I think it would be a very cool thing to have guild halls in game. The guild can purchase it together. If the guild owner leaves or whoever leaves, it doesn't matter. That house is still there. It still has the items in it. People can put those items there. People can put the crafting tables in, the Munda stones in. And like I said, it would be a guild hall and it would be owned by the guild and not owned by a particular individual. So if something happened and they left, you wouldn't lose that access to all that stuff. Another thing that... I think that a lot of people have discussed uh, recently, even with the video that I made about uh, solo arenas, when I talked about, would you like to see more solo arenas? A lot of people said yes. And it may not necessarily have to be just solo arenas. They could be things like Black Rose Prison added in. I know people like to play Black Rose and Dragon Star Arena. But when it comes to solo arenas, you think of Maelstrom because everyone wants those weapons. And now that you have access to get a lot of this stuff in normal and in vet, I think it's made it a lot easier for players to go in and be able to do it now of course it's still a grind to be able to get to, to get these certain items to drop that you want but overall i think more solo content for like arenas or more group style dungeon arenas whatever you want to call them there um i think that would be a, a good thing for players i think people like black rose prison dragon star arena bodstron hollows maelstrom arena so whether it's, whether it's something you can do with a group when it comes to arena or something you can do as a solo arena i think that would be a good add in the future because uh, we only get a couple dungeons a year, of course, one trial. So a lot of people like that style content. So I think it would be a good addition. 
Another thing I know I've talked about in the past, and of course a lot of the people in the community have talked about, is a trial finder. I'm not sure if it will ever be added or how they could do it, but I think a lot of people would really like the idea of having a trial finder. That way they don't have to go to Craglorn if they want to run trials, if they're not in a guild and just try to find a group to go with. You actually can go in and queue up in a trial finder. And last but not least, mini games. There's a lot of game, uh, different games out there, whether it be MMOs, RPGs, FPS games, adventure games. It doesn't really matter. They have tons of different mini games, uh, from racing to board games to just all kinds of stuff you can do just out in the open world with different players and just kind of participate in community events within those mini, uh, different mini games. And I think that would be something that is kind of unique that we don't exactly have access to in the Elder Scrolls Online right now. So I think mini games would be a pretty cool addition. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.